Hey West Central Saskatchewan, it's Nick Nielsen here out at Eaton School in Etonia where they're doing something really, really cool today. It's called their Game of Life and the way it works is it's basically an afternoon long exercise for the grades 9 to 12s to teach them a little bit about budgeting, something that's a little bit missing in that school curriculum. So they decided to add it in a big afternoon in a bit of a game way to things and it's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to check things out in a moment but first let's check in with the teachers who made this happen and learn a little bit about the entire Game of Life. Okay, well this is a project that Mrs. Brady and I kind of came up with two and a half years ago yeah. now. Uh, we call it the Game of Life and it's just sort of an opportunity for students to get together with members of our community and learn about some of the real world things that they will encounter when they leave high school and are ready to start working or when they have finished university. So we have, I guess the kids would start out with uh, going to Kindersley Mainline to get a vehicle or well, they could get a that, bus. They get a job. Yes, first so the first thing we do is we yeah. give them a job because we ask them just to, on opinion, especially for the younger kids, after you're done school, do you think you might want to go to university, to college, apprentice in a trade? So we give them some different options and then they get to pick a career based on those options, the education options that they can. Once students have their jobs and monthly budgets, they visit the different stations around the gymnasium to try and spend that money within their budget by making decisions like buying a house or renting, how much they can spend on entertainment, and how much they spend on utilities, and even what kind of vehicle to go in. Bar. Option two is pretty much winning, I'd say, for the most part, which is a $18,000 vehicle uh, for $369 a month for five years. Um, if you have been going for the $5,000 as is, go to the bank and loan for that. And then a couple went for, you know, newer and one person went for a used truck. One person went for a used truck, that's it? Yeah. How many of you seen get returns so far? Two. <laughs> Come back. Now if students are running short on money, they can either go to the bank and go through the process of getting a loan, or they can take a gamble and pull a Game of Life card that could either win them money... Oh, oh my, my gosh. That's got robbed. <laughs> or end up costing them dearly. I'm all done actually. I, I still got $317.26. Hey, that's not bad. Congratulations. You have to fix a couple things you get a loan. Yeah, you have to fix a couple things you get a loan, eh? Yeah. So how far over budget are you? Well, it's the thing was $300. I only have 198.8 left. Okay. That not... was just for town. That was just for the town and town utilities. How are things going for you so far? Are you guys managing to stay under budget? I see middle of the gym recalculations going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're good. <laughs> what, what's been the biggest surprise so far? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Really? Yeah. So nothing's really come and blown you guys away then? No, we have the highest paying jobs. <laughs> so oh, yeah. okay. What did you guys get for jobs then? A nurse. Uh, human resource manager. Oh, okay. See, none of you guys got radio guys, so you guys are all making <laughs> decent money then. Okay. Now, the event is supposed to be fun, but it is also mainly supposed to be teaching kids a little bit about financial literacy and budgeting for the future. And they don't learn any better lesson than the one they learn at the insurance table through a little bit of experience with a real-life story. Uh, it happened in Saskatchewan. There was a, an 18-year-old kid who was driving his mom's vehicle. He hit a truck and trailer, and in the trailer was five show horses worth about $1.3 million each. His mom had a $2 million package policy on her truck, and he is on the hook for the other $3.9 million. Oh, boy! <laughs> So he'll be paying for those horses for the rest of his life. Oh, there's so many people yeah. to thank. There's, a, there's like, we have 25 people that are here with us doing this. From Kindersley, Etonia, within our school. Uh, without our community, this yeah. is impossible. Yeah, a number of people have taken the afternoon off from work or from their business yeah. just to come and be with us and help us out. Like we have Etonia agencies, we have representatives from the town of Etonia, we have co-op people here from Kindersley and Etonia. Uh, we have members of our SCC here, Kinder C Mainline is here, Prince of Prairie Centre Credit Union, um, a number of our staff members are SCC here, so members, SCC, yeah. yeah, like just hundreds of people I think to think. It's, yeah, we're it's really... Huge, I probably left somebody out not here. I, yeah, look at this. <laughs> we wrote that down as a reminder for ourselves. <laughs> There's so much support and that's what our school is about. Yeah, what a fun way to learn about how the things actually go in life a little bit for the kids and a really unique thing that I think a lot other schools could pick up on here so they're getting close to wrapping up here what they do to finish things off is everybody who's come out gives every kid
needed a little bit of financial advice from their perspective, whether it's from the insurance, the sales, the home ownership, the car sales, that kind of stuff, and the kids are able to move on forward with that. It's something that Etonia, barring another pandemic hopefully, likes to do once every two years so that uh, kids from grade 9 to grade 12 get a opportunity to do this twice and maybe learn a few things and have their eyes open a little bit more to the actual cost of living and the cost of life a little bit. But congratulations Etonia School. This is a really, really cool, unique thing. How'd you guys are doing this? I'll be honest, I learned a few budgeting tips while I'm here too. Working or when they have finished university. All right. Um, can, if we have a roommate, can we pick it? Well, there's a, a roommate already there. Yeah, but like, you can't pick a roommate. There's one there already. Yeah, sorry, that's life. <laughs> well, that's not what I'm going to do.